Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nexomon Extinction. In the last episode, we kind of just messed around and looked at some new mons and stuff like that. And in between episodes, I did do some training, and I came across a few new party members. So let's go ahead and get y'all introduced to them. We have Trebly, our starter, our little monster dinosaur. Dinja, the, uh, one of the other starters that was available that we found in the grass in the first episode. Then I found a woozy in the forest area that uh, we were in last episode. It's an electric type, so I went ahead and added this one to the team. We also have Stinger, our fire scorpion. And then we have Singletti, who is a grass lizard man kind of dude. I don't know what his deal is, but apparently he's always looking for love, or she, whatever. Um, and then we also have Cruff, our little crooked look of alligator, crocodile dude. I also figured out how to use those experience cores. You have to literally click on the Mon. So you click on it, then you go over to cores, click on cores, and then you can detach or attach cores as you please. So that's good to know. But that is our team that we're rocking with right now. I also did complete the little scary ghost girls thing. It was actually relatively easy. I just needed to go those paths. I was kind of stupid <laughs> thinking that I just needed to stood where she stood. But no, you needed to go to the, towards those paths that she was in, in in order. And then she gives you this little key. And then behind her is a chest that has a little follower that will follow you around. But yeah, so I'm excited about that. So let's go ahead and just continue on with our journey as we are now ready. And this person wants to fight again, so let's go ahead and indulge her. Hey, hey, Brian, remember me? I'm looking for a rematch, punk. I'm going to get my money back. That's what you think. All right. Again, no way, you just keep getting stronger, Brian. It ain't fun. Well, stop trying to challenge me to a battle that you ain't gonna win. Okay, so we can actually go up here. These actually heal your entire party. So if you have your pickaxe, hit those whenever your team is low on health and stuff, and it'll heal everyone. So just as a FYI. And I did get everyone to level 10, so... Hopefully we don't run into any issues. Alright. 94, 95, 96. This is the best spot to play. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think I just figured out the extinction part of the game's title. Oh my god, Coco's here for freaking comedic relief. I love it. Okay. Thank goodness. There you are, Brian. Your remarkably impatient friend went up ahead. The capital is to the north. Our guild is at the heart of the city. Please don't deviate from our destination. You kids really underestimate the predicament of our world. Heard of that, boss lady. Let me go ahead and grab this. It's a banana! For you. This road leads to the Outlands. Mad Nexomon, bandits, and tyrants wreak havoc over there. You should stay safe, kid. Go to Peru, and you'll be fine. I want to go inside this house. Yoink. I'm just robbing y'all. 
Three Nexo traps. Thank you. Well, that's nice. Thank you for uh, your charity. <gasps> what the hell are you? Look at that little lit Leo looking thing. Oh, and I got sun. That's no bueno. Stop that. Stop being stunned. What are you doing? There we go. Good God, Trebly. Oh, yeah, we're gonna catch you. <laughs> of course not. Even though I did all of the uh, little letter pumps there. Okay, I, I, K, K, J. And the little trap. Thank you. Alright. Griff. With twice the curiosity and bravery of other Nexmon, this feline has the courage of a true king. Interesting. Let's see here. I want to send you the storage. You're cool. We might use you later on. But, real quick, we need to... Revive... Trebly. Who fell in battle. <gasps> Scoratic. More new mods. For uh, taking in some new mons here. Stay in. Yes. Scoratic. It charges the electricity from the objects it locates on the ground. Interesting. Go ahead and take on this one and just get some experience. Unless we get paralyzed. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, never mind. One more wants to play. And we're paralyzed. Lovely. Still paralyzed. Come on. There we go. Battle right there. Okay, we need to heal before we do that whole battle right there. Alright. Doom doom. Ah ha ha! You there? Where do you think you're going, pal? This is my special spot to capture and train next one. There's no room for both of us, so go find your own. Not unless I beat it out of you. What the? Your yummo. What the hell is this? Diabetes mom? Oh crap, I was paralyzed still. Come on, Trebly. There we go. Keep on doing that. Do two more, it looks like. Oh, just one. 
Okay, we can take on this one too. Oh, maybe not. Let's see here. Let's go out the woozy. Use thunder. There we go. Trevely is at the level 11 and can learn Rocky Rift. Good stuff. Ack. Tisk. Okay, I will let you use my special spot for a limited time only. Don't tell anyone about it, alright? Fair enough. The impregnable city of Parum lies ahead. Hundreds of chainers, or tamers, like us, keep the place up and running. Nothing to report. Yet. Oh, a rookie, huh? Tsk. You better hurry up inside, kid. The tyrants are always lurking. This statue looks like an Arcanine. Oh, snap. So, this is Pyram. It's so much bigger than I thought. Whoa, so many tamers. This place is the real deal. Um, what? We're we about to have another dragon? Or are we just having like a zoom out moment? The capital city of Param. Welcome to Param, the ultimate bastion of the human domain. Amid the chaos, violence, and decay that spreads throughout the world, Param stands tall and proud against all odds. Once you become a guild member, all your efforts and skills will be directed towards preserving the peace. Take a good look around. This is what you will be fighting for from now on. Noted. That's a healing center. Tamers like you can use it to restore their party for free. There's also a storage service where you can deposit and withdraw Nexamon. Oh, okay. There's that. There's a general store over there. You can purchase various items in, to aid you on your quests. Their goods and prices may vary over time, so check it out often. They also sell Nexo traps so to catch while Nexamon. There are many types of Nexo traps, but you can learn about that on your own. To the east is the airship hangar. Many tamers used to reach the Drake Isles, an alleged birthplace of the dragons. Feel free to check out sometime. It's quite the view. The citizens of Param are especially kind towards guild members. If you have time to spare, pay them a visit. Civilians often have special jobs for tamers, tamers like you. To the west is the research district. Our scientists have spent lifetime trying to unlock the full potential of our Nexomon, so that we may survive. Maybe newbies, but it's worth checking out. And finally, to the north, at the heart of the capital, lies the Tamer's Guild. And there's so much to see, so much to do. We have to check out the Drake Isles. We could capture ourselves our very own dragon. I'm tired of hearing about dragons. Did you know we can synthesize cores with enhance, which enhance our Nexamon in the research district? You are such a nerd. One step at a time, kids. Come with me to the guild. You will receive your bronze badges, as well as your first tamer job. Alright. Nothing's gonna stop us from wandering around the city. I don't think there's much to do without a badge from the Tamers Guild. We should go north as soon as possible. Well, I'm glad that you recognize that we're gonna look around first. Okay. Oh, I guess we can't go down there. Oh, you have to use the actual steps. Okay. What do you want? Uh huh. Uh, more police officers. Hello, Sailor Moon. Legendary Ulzar. Oh, 
Now this, it's Ulzar, the very first tamer. The legendary Ulzar defeated Omicron over 2,000 years ago. The terrible king of monsters sought to obliterate all of humanity, but his reasons were never understood. Maybe Ultar is bad. Seven kids, the primordial tyrants. They say that today's tyrants are not even half as strong as Omnicron's children. Interesting. Uh huh. Oh, I have so many grand tales about this fella, and yet, look at our sad world. Is this it? Is this his legacy? Interesting. A tamer is so brave at such a young age. Be careful out there. Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. Tamer may be beautiful, but our city stands in the middle of the dying world. Oh, I'm just gonna walk in people's houses real quick. Yoink that right out of their bookshelf. Oh, they got some in the oven. A fire next to the trap. Grazzi. Ooh, look at that. You got a pickaxe. <laughs> I guess you know your stuff. Mining shards is a very important job. Why is this dude blue? Hey, what's up, buddy? Never seen a ghost before? Ha. Huh. Well, get used to it. Spirits like myself are pretty common throughout the world. I used to live here in Param many centuries ago. And we had a gem. Right here, Omnicron himself destroyed it. Good to know. There are gems in this thing. Oh, the fuck? Joybot? Hello there, young tamer. Is this your first time here? Using powerful Himalayan salt out lamps, <laughs> our free healing service can restore your Nexamon in no time. You guys have the Himalayans here? Why don't you try healing your orange pet? Oh right, do you see that computer over there? That's a storage console. Use it to deposit and withdraw your next amount. Have a nice day. Take care now, Brian. You creepy ass droid. This one? Pokemon storage default. Let's see here. Ah. Oh, we can use our mouse for this to cancel. Okay. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Let's just name this one Box One. Okay. And then we can click on it. So in the box we got Ruby, Shromparo, another Ruby. So we need to take that one back to the other tamer where we can. I'm glad we found that. Let's go ahead and heal. Thank you. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, you gonna tell me about this? Oh, that thing? That's a warp stone. With them, you can travel super fast across the land, but they require lots of energy, so only silver tamers are allowed to use them. Ah, our general goods store, and a dog is running it. Cooper, welcome, welcome. It's so good to see new faces in my store. So what do we have here? A rookie tamer and a oh, one of those. I'll be outside, Brian. Welcome! Welcome to my store! We stock all sorts of items. Potions, antidotes, nexotraps, and more. Unfortunately, some of the best goods are available only to high-ranking tamers. But worry not, 
there's always something useful for you. Come in and browse on our wares, don't be shy. Dick. Stores offer more and better items as you progress through the main story. Check out the store often for updates. Good to know. Aha, uh -huh, Brian, my friend. Since you're a low-ranking teammate, there isn't a lot I can offer. But these items will still come in handy, I promise. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here. Basic next trap. Okay, so Lily can't really offer me much. But this guy looks like a shard person. Oh, your new face. Brian, uh, Well, Brian, my name is Clave. And I'll be happy to take any elemental shards off your hands. It's a nice way to make some coin, eh? Grab a pickaxe and get to work. Now we get coins from beating other teamers and wild Nexamon? That sounds messed up, but yes, you do get some coins from that. Still talk to me and I'll buy any spare shots you may have. Hello Brian, got some elemental shots for me? Let's see what you got. Just for now. Oh, we got a sprint button here. Beep. Oh, snap. What's going on in here, bros? Behold, this is the Nexor series B004. Nexomar obsolete. We will decimate the tyrants with the power of science. Noted. A workout charm. What is this? Also, this one? We're keeping until the end, until there's something that's super rare. Because that looks like it's the master next attract. I don't know how many we actually get. Causes your team to restore 3% stamina after each battle. This can be stacked. Interesting. An ancient key that can unlock a secret treasure vault. But where? Interesting. And it's already equipped, so that's kind of cool. Nothing else down here. Nope. Okay. Let's see. We got a few more places to go inside of. Another ether. Ooh, a tamer, aren't you? May Ulzar look after you on your adventure. Oh, you're an Ulthar. Worshipper, are you? Oh, there's an upstairs. And you got a chest. Discount voucher. Okay. Hey, kid, I saw your voucher. I don't know what it's to. Merchants will lower their price by 3%. This item can be stacked. Okay, I guess I can't use it right now. Whatever. <laughs> down here. Oh, it's a locked one. Okay, never mind. Ah! 
countless gems waiting to be taken, countless treasures to be uncovered, a pickaxe is essential. You have nothing shiny in here. That's unfortunate. Ah. Get up the stairs. There we go. Oh. Ah. For Ulzar's sake, what's a stranger doing here? Somebody help me. Go away. Leave me alone. Um, Brian? Why, why are you entering people's home? That's messed up. We are nobodies, Brian. Of course they won't trust us. Maybe if we had silver badge or better, the citizens would be more comfortable around us. Fair enough, but I mean, it is my job to just randomly walk inside people's homes. There's this thing you may find anywhere called EXP boosters that can improve the experience you see from battles. One booster is really weak though, so tamers need to collect plenty of them to notice substantial improvements. I have one, I'll be happy to trade for stuff, stuff if you want. Sure. Remember that you can stack as many experience boosters as you wish. So one day you might actually appreciate having spent the time getting them. Interesting. Why is it not clicking on it? Hmm. But that will work. Interesting. I used to be a pretty good tamer back then, but now that I've retired, I don't need any of these items. I can give you a good price for all this stuff, kid. What do you say? 500 points for a wind whistle and a secret sauce. Sure. Give me your good, bro. What's in here? Uh oh. Apparently we weren't loved by them. Come on, Brian. Not many people are willing to speak with low rank and tamers like us. If you work hard for the guild, you might get a promotion and maybe people won't mind us anymore. Well, I'm still gonna walk inside their houses. Okay. Well, I think that was most of what we needed to do. Okay. So now let's go up here. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Shiny. The Tamer's Guild. Are you a newbie? You must watch your stuff in the Outlands. Please use these coins to get some supplies. Thank you. Hey, rookie, come by the frozen tundra when you become stronger. Situation is dire over there. Fair enough. Oh, you're a new recruit, right? Here's a tip. Don't be afraid to explore other regions to find next amount of every element. That way you'll be ready for anything. That's fair. It's always good to have a well-versed team. Another elixir. Fantastic. Let's go inside. It's pretty crowded in here. We wouldn't stand a chance fighting against the tyrants otherwise. <sighs> I still don't know what a tyrant is. Let's go and get our badges, come on. Oh, it's you. The kids immediately told me about. Welcome to the guild. I'm the regional administrator. Uh, let's see now. Anyone with the next month companion is entitled to become a bronze tamer. Our standards are pretty low, I guess. Are you always like this? 
Take this badge and carry it with pride. Congratulations. Dude over there to the left looks like a piece of fall or was that game uh Borderlands. Um Brian, what are you doing? People are staring. Come back. Come on, please. Okay, don't ever do that again, Brian. Anyway, as guild tamers, I shall assign the fitting task to each of you. We're not going to work together. Oh shit. Some difficult missions require teamwork, but bronze tamers are given simpler jobs. Work hard and you might require a superior silver badge or gold badge. For now, come to me when you're ready for your first assignments. Tutorial. Characters with a star on their heads have something important to tell you. It's usually a quest, so make sure to chat with those characters. Now go and speak with the administrator. Noted. The first portal is man. Interesting. Okay. Hello, Brian. Are you ready for your first assignment as Bronze Tamer? Amelie is eager to show you the ropes. Very well. Please come to the meeting room. Your client is waiting. Okay. Hey, who are these losers? These losers? I mean, these tamers are. These, <laughs> I mean, these tamers are Brian and Coco. They will have. They will take on your job request. Are you serious? I just saw them cutting their badges five minutes ago. Uh, she's got a point there. The entire lake was frozen. There's a bunch of rabid Nexamon. Don't give me someone you only just hired. This is a menial task. You need to trust Brian, please. Okay, fine. I will take your rookie tamer, but don't say I didn't warn you when both of us get stuck under that lake. Hey, newbie, meet me outside the city at once. Chop, chop. Wasn't well, she just a little barrel of peaches? Ahem. That bread is next to my miner. The lake she normally works at has unexpectedly frozen over and hostile Nexamon have been sighted nearby for one reason or another. You just need to escort her while she does her job, Brian. That's all there is to it. Sounds simple enough. You might even find some cool Nexamon around that lake. Yes, that's the spirit. Not bad for your very first assignment, right? I could take you outside the city right now or you may explore Param a bit more if you'd like. What shall we do? Take me there. Alright, let's get going then. Oh, she wants to fight again. How's our moms looking? They're looking pretty good. Wanna fight again? Yep. Let's get to it. I think she's a bit frustrated. 
Rookie, what took you so long? Are you ready? Is your party healed? Do you have any items? Gosh, I feel like I'm the one escorting you. A bronze tamer. Ugh. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, I'll show you the way to the lake. Because I bet you haven't gone to the faintest idea of how to get there. Slut. <laughs> she already freaking gone? Hey, at least there's a healing spot and stuff right here. The Outlands. Several battles and star people to look at. And she's down there. Okay. Good to know. Hey, over there. Come on, look at me. I saw you. How are you so slow? How are you so fast? The lake is down this way. Don't go anywhere else, you hear me? You know, it's not too late to revise our career options. I'm right there with you, dude. Sparkle, sparkle. Potion. What you want? Hey, excuse me, are you a guild tamer? Do you have a moment? What's the matter? A child from the capital city of Param somehow managed to squeeze out of the city walls. And now she's missing. Whoa, that's a big deal, huh? Yes, right. She could be anywhere in our outlands. This is a woman speaking, oh well. We're asking all adventurers to keep an eye on her. I wish that I could provide more information, but that's all we have. Alright, maybe we'll find that kid as we travel. I bet that there's a quest reward for finding her, Brian. Alright. For sure we're rescuing a child is enough for war. Let's get going, Brian, before someone beats us to it. We don't have a clue to where our whereabouts. Okay, so. Could be anywhere. Noted. What's this? Ooh, sparkles. A glazed cake. 20 coins. Oh, that's a PC over there. A pincho. Fifty coin. An exo trap. Ever heard about the elemental whistles? Whistles increase your capture chance when facing Nexamon of a certain type, and you can even stack the whistles. If you're interested, I wouldn't mind selling you a water type one. Sure, why not? I heard that there's also a dragon whistle specifically for those beasts in Drake Isles. Interesting, okay. What's up, dude? What, what, why? We're kill teamers. We gotta make sure that our members are in shape. Show me what you got, kid. Okay. Oh, you have a dinja as well. Rock. Get out of here. Fair enough. Alright, carry on with your business, Brian. 
and thank you for giving me the permission to do so. Stone shard. Ooh, watch out, watch out. If you're one or too far, you'll be hitting the frozen tundra. Did you know your next mom might unexpectedly get a frozen status effectively? You need lots of antifreeze. Lucky for you, I'm carrying a little extra. That's good to have, I guess. I wish I had whatever I needed to get up there, that'd be cool. Thunder sure, huh? Oh, look at you! Leechy. Kinda digging you. Who's he getting there? Cute little next one has a lot of tricks under his wings and a furry tail. To the storage with you. Thanks for playing. Another Griff. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay. Stunned again. You gonna be stunned again? Okay, good. Excuse me, would you mind fighting me in a Nexomon battle? It's pretty boring to fight a wild Nexomon all day, wouldn't you agree? Okay. Okay, that's kinda cool. A Goozy? What in the world? Lumby? I like it. It's kind of old. 
Do it again. A basil? Basil. You got a dragon? Level 13, level 11, Super Revive, good deal, good deal, Ocean Shards, Grazi, hello, excuse me buddy, there's a bunch of wild nexum on here, way more than I expected. Now I ran out of Nexa traps. I ain't going to be back to say no way. I'll pay you really well for a few traps if you got any. Oh, he's gonna give us a protection core, huh? For three of them? Sure. Nice. Anything down here? Blazing shards. Thought I'd just check and see if there would be anything else in this grass before I move on. Alright guys, I think this is going to do it for this episode. If y'all enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope that you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, from what I have heard, it picks up pretty quickly, I believe, like, they said, from what one of my friends said, he said, like, before even, like, a quarter of the way, like, maybe, like, 20 minutes after, like, you get to the guild hall, which is where we just got to, that big place. He said like it starts picking up story-wise, so I'm hoping he's right, but we're going to find out in the next episode. So until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you all next time.